Our friends over at MFJ have a product for just about everything. This is the MFJ 1903 Universal Vertical Tilt Base. Let's get her open. Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. I, I missed, how does that happen? I've done this so many times now. I am gonna take a look at an MFJ tilt over base mount that would connect your antenna mast to a pole in the ground or to something else that is round. Let's go take a look. Clearly these guys haven't seen my channel before because they included instructions. <laughs> We're not gonna need those. Okay, now I see why they did it. It's so you don't lose this absolutely massive amount of hardware that they sent. Genius. This thing does appear to be made out of some pretty high quality stainless steel parts. And then there are also some aluminum parts here. So it will be pretty safe to be out in the weather for a good long time. I did not see any of the zinc plating stuff that you see at most of the hardware stores for this kind of material. Definitely looks like it's all stainless steel and built to last. At its most basic, this thing is designed to hook one set of poles to another set of poles and allow you to tilt them over. So that way you can pound a stake into the ground and then put your mast in this device here and tilt it over to work on your antenna and then tilt it back upright when you're done and get back to getting on the air. So the instructions aren't really all that great. And to be fair, this is kind of a universal kit, but with a little bit of what we call knolling, laying out all your parts in like groups, you can quickly kind of figure out where all these things get together. So let's do some more consolidation of parts and see what we can find out. Okay, and now we have these parts all cleaned up as best as I think they should go. So on the U-bolts, I have a fender washer, a lock washer, and a nut. And that takes care of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. And then on these guys here, these are the shorter, fatter bolts. I have a regular fender washer and another lock washer and the nut, so that takes care of all of that. And then these guys are where it gets to be a little bit interesting. These are the longer, skinnier bolts. And I have a star washer, a bearing, a star washer, and a nut because that's how I was able to run out of parts. And then you tell me, do you put on the fender washer first and then the lock washer or the lock washer first and then the fender washer? I don't know that it actually matters outside of your own personal aesthetics, but you tell me in the comments down below because I'm curious. And now with this thing all together, you can put one pole in one side and one pole in the other side. This one would go ideally three feet into the ground, and this one would hold whatever your favorite mast is, and then you can tilt it over so that you can work on it. And when it is up and running, you can take your last set of bolts and nuts and put them all together and secure it in place so that it doesn't come apart anymore. Pretty cool. And because this is a universal kit, I had some parts left over. I'm not really sure what you would use this part with the bearing for, and you have more ways to secure your mast in the locked upright position if you wanted it, but there you go. All done. So in the manual, they say to pound something into the ground that is three inches, three inches, three feet or four feet long. If you're gonna use something that's even bigger than that, then you probably wanna put it in some concrete in the ground for a very permanent install. Once you have that part down and you have one section of the tilt-over base attached to it, you can then attach the other section of the tilt-over base to your favorite kind of mast. This will work with a chain link top rail. Probably wouldn't last you very long because they do tend to bend after a while. It'll work with one of the spider beam or the DX commander type masts, again, not designed for this, so probably a short-term installation, or you can use it with the four-foot military mast. There's a lot of different things that this thing can do. It's highly versatile, and it's pretty slick. There are some links in the description down below, and I hope you enjoy using the tilt-over base. On Monday nights, we do a live stream where we try to figure out how to do something that we've never done before. I call it ham nuggets. We're in our fourth year of doing this right now, and one of the things that I do periodically is I give away stuff, so be sure you're tuned into Monday night's live stream in order to win this or something else I might give away in the future. There is a video right over here I think you might enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.